Praise the Lord, everybody. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Good evening, God's people. Good evening. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. 
Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord tonight. Amen. We bless his holy name. And the songwriter began to say, we need the Lord right now. Come on here. When do you need him? Right now. Yeah, yes, we might have needed him before, but we sure do need him right now. And we bless the Lord tonight because he is an old time God. Job said he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. And I came to tell you tonight that God is always on time. His timing is not like ours, but he's all he's always on time. And we bless him tonight. Hallelujah. So listen, good people, go ahead and call a neighbor and a friend and let them know that you are on the line tonight with Dr. Apostle Sylvia Hunter. And we are here tonight to just give you a word of encouragement, to give you a word from the Lord, something that can carry you throughout the week till you get to your services. And we just bless God tonight for what he's doing. We thank God for Dr. Kimmy Kim and the Elations family, the Elations magazine, the Elations radio, the Elations, I mean, whatever God has in store for them. We thank God for them tonight, amen, because without her, these things wouldn't be possible. So we bless the Lord for all that he has put her hands to do, amen. And I prophesy tonight that everything she put her hands to will prosper. I'm telling you, she got the Midas touch. Glory to God. And we thank the Lord for it tonight. Hallelujah. So listen, you guys. It is a blessing today to be in the land among the living and not the dead. Millions of people didn't make it, but we are some of the ones who did. And for that, we ought to truly be grateful. Lord, I thank you tonight that we made it another day. God, you gave us another chance to get it right. Father, we thank you for this day that we've never seen before, a day that we'll never see again. God, we thank you this this afternoon, oh God, for allowing us to come and assemble ourselves on this radio broadcast. Oh God, to deliver a word to your people. Father, we ask that you move by your might, move by your power, move by your strength. Father, we thank you tonight that you are going to move expeditiously in the lives of your people. Father, you're making haste right now, hallelujah, to perform your word, Father God, because your word, you you hasten, you look over your word to perform it. And Father, we thank you tonight that we shall have whatever we decree. Lord God, whatever we say, God, if we believe it by faith, we shall have it. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight. Father, we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory because it all belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and thank God. So tonight we are just so, so blessed to be here with you all. Amen. With everything that's going on in the world, we're just so happy that God chose us. How many of you know that you are chosen by God? There are a lot of people. The Bible says many are called but few are chosen. Amen. And so sometimes, uh, and and you also know the scripture that says, it declares that um, gifts and callings are without repentance. Yes, there are some people who have the gift, but they never answered the call. But until you answer the call, until you adhere to the call, until you stop and listen and do what he's asking you to do, hallelujah, until you do that, you really can't be or you can't walk out the plans that he has for you in your life because you're not walking fully submitted to God. So tonight we want to be fully submitted. We want to be fully committed. Amen. We want to be submitted to the things of God. We want to be submitted to his ways. Amen. And we want God to move in our lives. So tonight, God, oh God, move for us, oh God. Lord, help us to be in the right place at the right time. Father, don't let us get caught with our work undone. Lord God, whomever we are to minister to, oh God, let us be there at the right time in their lives, oh God. Let us not show up late, oh God, but let us show up on time. Father, because you are the God of time and you hold time in your hand. And Father, we thank you tonight that we will not abort our mission. We will not abort our time. But we would do what you have orchestrated us to do in the earth. And we thank you, Father. We give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Again, I want to tell everybody good evening. And it's a blessing to be in the land among the living. We got another opportunity to get it right. Yes, maybe yesterday you failed. You might have failed at everything you did. But listen, the Bible says a righteous man falls seven times. But what? Listen, you might fall, but it's not falling that, that, that gets you stuck. It is what you're going to do after you fall. Are you going to get back up and, and, and make a shot at a better chance? 
or are you going to stay on the floor and wallow and murmur and complain and whine like a child, or are you going to get up and say, listen, God, I made a mistake on yesterday, but today I'm taking back my joy. I'm taking back my power. I'm taking back my authority. I'm taking everything that the devil stole. I'm taking it all back today. And see, that's what God is doing for us. He's given us another chance to get it right. Amen. Glory to God. So if you have your Bibles, we're getting ready to go into the paperback Bible. For those of you who are on your tablet or your computers or whatever way you're listening tonight, get your Bibles. Amen. We're going into the word of God briefly. Amen. So get ready to go into the book of Isaiah. Amen. We um, The Lord has really been dealing with me heavily about us being connected to the power source. Amen. Because a lot of people have gotten out of alignment with the Father. And, and so when you get out of alignment, you, you got to repent. You got to re- repent and submit yourself back unto the Lord in order to get back in right standings with him. If we are not in right standings with the Father, we won't make it in. And in this time that we are in right now, in these end times, we don't have time to play. Play day is long and gone. Your playing church is over, honey. You go, you have to put up or shut up. Come on here. We're in a day and a time that your 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 salvation is on the line. Hallelujah. You're going to have to put up what you say that you are. If you say that you're a man or woman of God, you're going to be tested in that. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't run from it and you can't hide. God knows who belongs to him anyway. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. So tonight, we, you know, God's been dealing with me about staying connected to the power source. And Jesus is our power source tonight. It's just like, uh, and, and God was also dealing with me about being refueled. Uh, just like your vehicles. There are times when you run so and you've driven all over town and you get home and, and, and your needle is on E. That means it needs to be refueled. Just like you have to go to the gas station and get some gas, you 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 refueling the vehicle. We have to be refueled spiritually. I can pour out as a leader. I can pour out into everybody. But then there's sometimes when the leader has to go get poured into. Amen. So God saying he want to refill us again. So tonight we want God to refill us, realign us, because we got out of alignment. We want him to redo the work over again. Make us over again tonight, God. Whatever you have to do to get us back in right standing, y'all should be willing to do it. Listen, I'm telling you, there are some things you will be tested on. Sometimes you will fail the test, but that's okay. If you fail it, just take it over. But the next time you take the test, make sure you pass it because you'll continue to take test after test until you get it right. Just like you do in school, just like you do in college. You're always taking tests. That's to better your skills, to sharpen you. Amen. And when you fail the test, then you got to do, you got to study all over again for it, right? Same way with the Lord. Every time you fail a test, it, it's another test that's coming. So just make sure you pass the test the first time. Do right the first time, and you won't have to worry about taking those same tests again. So we bless the Lord tonight for his word. We honor him. Amen. Also, um, so that's, he's been dealing with me about the staying connected to the power of sorts. Not denying the power that's already in you. Hallelujah. Some of you don't know that you're yet connected. That's because you've gotten so far out of line. You got out of line with God, but God didn't get out of alignment with you. And so, therefore, you seem far a distance. You seem distance from the Lord. You, you, you know, you don't even pray to him like you used to because you know you've been sinning and you have not been asking for forgiveness. You have not had a, been in a state of repentance. So that's why, you, you, you know, you act like, well, I ain't been hearing the Lord. No, I'm sure you haven't, baby, because you're not in relationship with him. When you are in relationship with a person, you hear from them. You commune with them. You talk to them. Y'all do things together. You sing songs. You pray to him. That's when you're in relationship with the Father. Glory to God. And so tonight, we're going to deal with some things. And this is just a book we're going to go and we're going to study on this thing. A lot of times as a people, we cannot move forward because we will not allow our past to be disconnected. Some of us are yet holding on to our past. We're holding on to past men, past women. Mm-hmm. You're holding on to your exes. Now you got a new bay and a new boo. Mm-hmm. Some of you got husbands and new wives. And yet when you see that boo or bay, you get all, t- oh, my God, you get all bothered again. Because you know why you can get all bothered again? Because listen here, you haven't let that soul tie go. Come on here. 
you still got tearing a soul tie for somebody else's spouse. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. But I'm trying to tell y'all tonight, we're going to have to forget the former things. We're going to have to let the past stay in the past. There is nothing good in your past. Hallelujah. Because that, if it was, it wouldn't be the past. Whatever you've experienced that caused you trauma, that caused you pain, that caused you chaos, that caused you uh, uh, all this drama and all this stuff, I mean, that is negative. It's in your past. Leave it there. Don't go back and revisit it. Don't go back and rehearse it in your mind. You have to put your mind on lockdown. Some of your minds just wander. And you can see one thing, your mind will wander way back 20 years ago, where you was out there on the street walking the stroll. Hallelujah, glory to God. Your mind can go back when you was only messing with married men. You can go back to all the negative things. I'm telling you, don't be like uh, Lot's wife. Hallelujah. She was loving the kind of lifestyle she was living in Sodom and Gomorrah. She loved that lifestyle. And she turned back because she really wasn't wanting to go with her husband. Come on here, somebody. Let's keep it real tonight. She didn't want to go with her husband. She looked back because she was just wanting somebody to come and get her. But guess what happened? She got stopped right in her track. I'm trying to tell you, you can't play with this thing no more. I'm telling you, you coming up against men and women of God. Amen. And thinking God ain't going to move on their behalf. God will show up and he will show out. You got to be careful for what you say concerning another person. I don't care if they're not your sister or brother. They could just very well be a part of the, the uh, kingdom. And you can't talk to them and do them in that kind of way and think God is going to overlook it. He never sleeps. Neither does he slumber. Hallelujah. We got to be so very careful, y'all. We're in a day that everything we do is being judged. People are watching our walk. They're watching our talk. They're watching how we carry ourselves. They're watching us so clearly like with a microscope. We are under a microscope right now. And when you do people uh, uh, wrong, you know, when you do wrong to people, you you know, you may not get it back, but it may fall on your chill. Y'all better hear me tonight. What you have done to others may very well fall on your children. Remember the generational curse. Remember the curses that have come down your pipeline, the pipeline through your blood, from your blood, your bloodline. It came down the pipeline. Your father uh, 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 was a, 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 a sorcerer. You had a grandmother. Come on here. She was the root doctor. Come on. Everybody dibbled and dabbled in voodoo and hoodoo. Come on. They dabbled in those things. Tarot card readers. Some of them had, a, 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 you had one of your grandmothers, she, she had the best little whole house in Texas. Come on, somebody. But I'm trying to tell you, those, they didn't, those were unrepentant sin. They didn't repent for those things. And anything that's unrepentant falls down the bloodline. It comes down the bloodline. Glory to God. And so here it is. Um, we have to, you know, repent for that because you don't want your children. You don't want that to fall on your kids, right? We don't want that to come on our kids. Amen. Hallelujah. So you're going to have to ask God to forgive your forefathers for their sin. Because it, it continues to go through the generations. You'll see it with your, maybe one of your children. Then you'll see it in one of your other sisters and brother kids. It just keeps trickling down. But tonight we're going to bind all the word curses. We're going to leave the past in the past. Whatever somebody done to you, amen, if you're walking around with the spirit of offense, you need to confront it, Get deal with it. Deal with it quickly. Resolve it quickly. Do not let offense go on because offenses, hallelujah, it breeds unforgiveness. Yes, it does. It breeds uh, 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 it breeds a whole lot of stuff. But, it, you know, it, can, it breeds things that will cause you to be out of the will of God. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Offenses also, because a lot of times you get offended by your leaders, and sometimes they don't even know that they have offended you. So it's best to do it quickly. When you feel offended, say, listen, I didn't understand uh, what you were talking about, and I felt like you were talking to me. Well, they have an opportunity to tell you the meaning of what they were saying or if they were talking about you, because they very well could have been speaking over your head, and you you, got, you just heard the ending of it, and you don't even know where they were headed with it. So we've got to be very careful with walking in offense uh, against people. You know what I mean? Let them know if they offend you, because you cannot harbor all these ill feelings. When you continue to... Uh, um, harbor uh, ill ill feelings like uh, you know you you put it you internalize it. What happens is it began to uh, uh, fester. Come on, it grows, and then it begins to cause your body to be sick. 
because you're carrying around another load with something that you should have given to God and you should have went to that person so that y'all could have gotten it right. Do not let, listen, the Bible talks about don't let the sun go down on your wrath. You know, we, 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 we ought to get it right with people before sundown. You know what I'm saying? You you shouldn't be walking around mad with uh, your sisters and brothers in Christ and those that are your biological sisters and brothers. If by any chance you can resolve those issues, get them resolved quickly, amen, so that you don't allow any other spirits to come in and keep y'all divided. Because that's another way that the enemy comes. He wants to divide and conquer us. And if you let him, um, you know, if you allow him to, you allow that spirit of offense to keep festering, that's what will happen. It'll divide you from your offspring. It'll divide you from, you know, uh, those that are close to you. So we don't want that tonight. So tonight we're going to be talking, well, we're talking about the past and letting go. Some of you have been in some bad relationships, and there are some relationships that cost you a lot. You lost a lot in that relationship, whether it be time, money, your feelings, your emotions, you lost a whole lot. And so you're saying, well, I don't ever want to be in a relationship like that again. So you've learned your lesson. You paid for that lesson too, right? So, um, but, but sometimes you, you can't understand why often sometimes you still begin to dream about what you went through or you begin to dream about that person. Listen, you really have to give that over to the Lord. You got to give it all to him and you can't take it back. You got to cast all of your cares upon him for he cares for you. You can't be giving it to him and then keep your hand in it. No, 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 no. God don't need you to keep your hand on it. He needs you to take your hand off of it. If you're going to give it to him, give it to him all the way and don't worry about it because in his timing, he's going to answer. Glory to God. Not in your timing. And God will step in right in the nick of time. You'll be ready to throw in the towel, and God be going to step in right in the nick of time. And I thank him for that. Amen. So let us go to Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, and I'm going to start at verse 1. But now thus is the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from, from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even every one that is come by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the dead that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show uh, us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say it is true. Ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and I believe and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. See, God is just establishing himself of who he is. Amen. It has, there was not a God before, and there will not be a God after him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But tonight we um well, let's jump over really quickly to verse um, 18. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. But forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm get, going to do. So God says, remember ye not the former things. That's the things that, that, that the past, the things that had you hostage, the things that had you bound, the things that wanted to make you corrupt, the things that wanted to make you do things that you should not do to people. Those things. He said, don't forget Jesus, remember them not. He don't want you to remember it because when you ask God to forgive you, he threw your sins into the sea of forgetfulness to remember them no more. But now you want to remember? No, the devil is the one that bring it back to your remembrance. Once God forgive you of it, he don't bring it back up because he don't have to. And let me say this. 
when the Lord forgives you of the sins that you have repented of, even it is recorded in heaven, yes, it is, and if, if whatever you did on those days that you asked for forgiveness, they have to erase it out of the book of Lamb, books of life. It is no longer written because of the fact God forgave you about it, and he don't ever want it brought up again. My God, that's good right there. To know that my slate gets clean when I repent. To know that when I stand and make a mistake and I repent, God, some God be sorry unto the Lord. That he, he throws it into the sea of forgetfulness so that he doesn't remember it no more. And he don't allow anybody else to bring it back up because he wipes it out of the Lamb's book of life. That's good revelation right there. Lord, I thank you for that. Hallelujah. And then the Bible begins to say, don't, you know, forget all of that stuff. Stop worrying about it. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. See, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. You have not seen nothing yet. What you looking at uh, is just a smoke screen. Baby, when God get ready to turn the, listen, he getting ready to flip the script. The tables are going to be turned over. The head will now become the tail, and the tail now will become the head. Y'all better stay in position. Don't you relinquish your position. Don't you move out of your position. You are next in line for your miracle. I dare you to move. All right. You better stay right there. You better stay right there and get everything that God has for you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Behold, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Mm -hmm. The Lord is saying, so I'm doing a new thing. I'm about to do something new. I'm about to do something new in your life. Uh Uh-huh. Eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard the things. Hallelujah, that I prepare for them that love me. God is getting ready to do a new thing in you. It has not even entered into the heart of man. Hallelujah, what God is about to do. He says, well, I'm about to do something new. See, I've already begun it. Do you see it? Can't y'all see it? The Bible begins to declare, he that began a great work in you shall complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So he's already begun the work in you. My God. He says, I will make a pathway through the wilderness. Uh, I will create rivers in the dry uh, wasteland. I will create, oh my God, have mercy to God. He says, I will even make a way for you in the wilderness. Do y'all understand that in the wilderness, there's nothing out there? No lights, no water, no gas, no pillows, no blankets, no food, no telephone, no fire, no air conditioner, no heaters, no bed, no blanket. He says, I will make a way in the wilderness for you. Mm -mm -mm. Lord, have mercy. Oh, have mercy tonight, God. And so listen, the Lord wants us to forget the former things. Forgetting those things which are behind. Come on, people of God. And let's press toward those things which are before. Apostle Paul said, I press toward the mark. Hallelujah, of the prize of the high calling, which is Christ Jesus. Glory to God. We got to forget those old things. Forget it. Whatever hurts you in the past, let it go. It is time for you to stop living in your past and look forward and look into your future. Hallelujah, where God has headed you. You look to the hills from whence cometh your help, because all of your help comes from above. Stop looking back. Sometimes you look back too long. You may go back and you can't come back. Glory to God. So you need to stop looking back. Your past don't owe you nothing, baby. If God brought you out of your wicked past, you ought to tell God thank you. If he brought you out of a shit under the or whatever sin he brought you out of, you ought to tell him hallelujah. Glory to God. And we thank you tonight. So I don't care what happened in my past. Yeah, you might have told the truth about me. Yeah, I might have I might have said that. Yeah, I might was with them. Yeah, I might was hanging out. Yeah, I could have been at that store. Yeah, I could have been there. Oh, yeah, I could have been doing a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So what you said could have been true. That uh, You know, it was true back then. But what are you seeing me do now? Oh, what, where am I now? Well, oh, my God, can't you see God has done a new thing in me? It's my walk. Watch the way I walk. Watch the way I talk. Watch me. Look at me. I preach the life I live. Glory to God. You you know what? You you know, we, we, we allow people to say all kind of things about them. But one thing you won't be able to say about me, and you can never say that I'm not a child of the Most High, because I am his daughter. Amen. Glory to God tonight. So we thank you, God, for doing a new thing in us. 
We thank you, God, for what you're about to do. Hallelujah for doors that you're about to open tonight. We thank you that you're closing doors that need to be closed, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the keys, oh God, that you're giving us, oh God, to be able to manage our own stuff. We don't need people to put us on game. God, you are, you are opening doors for us. God, you are the door open, opener. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Like you do, like um, like Jabez's prayer uh, was to enlarge his territory. Lord, enlarge our territory tonight. Oh, God, bless us indeed, God. We pray for increase tonight, increase in our finances, increase in our spiritual walk, increase in love, increase in, oh, God, being humble. Lord, we need increase tonight in knowledge and wisdom and understanding, and we thank you tonight, God. We're not going to look at the former things, and we ain't going to consider the old things. Lord God, we are present toward the mark. We're pressing. We got out. Listen, we got you in our view. We got a destination in our view. The road, yes, it gets bumpy sometimes. Listen here. But we got to press on through it, y'all. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you something tonight. God knows the plans that he has for us. And oftentimes we don't know. And oftentimes we're not ready to submit. Oftentimes we're not ready to commit. Hallelujah. Because commitment requires you to give it all you got. And a lot of people don't want to commit. There are people don't want to commit to relationships. They don't want to commit to things that well, as it pertains to the house of God. Everybody want to just sit back and do nothing, but you can't be like that. Glory to God. So we thank you tonight, God, for our stance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name tonight. God, you are so good. You are so worthy to be praised. Father, if I had 10,000 tongues, every one of them would say, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just bless your name tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. So for whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap tonight. I want y'all to look unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We just bless him tonight because he didn't give up on us, even though we might have given up on ourselves. God never gave up on us. Hallelujah. He he was right there for us. Every time you turned around, God was right there. Hallelujah. You was crying out to him then. Uh, See, but y'all don't want to pray until you need him. No, you should be praying consistently. The Bible tells you to pray in season, out of season. The Bible tells you to pray without ceasing. You should never stop praying. I don't care if things are going good. That's when you need to pray the most. Because when things are going good, that's when everybody trying to knock you off your game. Glory to God. And we thank you tonight, Lord God. We don't want to be weary in our doing well, because we know that in due season, we're going to reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. But we got to forget those past things that people done to us, all the hurt that they caused us. Even in your marriage, some people came in between you and your husband. Yeah, you got to forget that stuff, though, y'all. I'm t- I know, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's easily said than done. But you're going to have to forgive and forget. You're going to have to let stuff just, uh, I'm not telling you to uh, roll over and play like you didn't see it. No. If somebody offended you, it, you know, we're in the day and the time where you got to let people know so that, so that you don't be going to hell because you want to still walk in unforgiveness. No. Get that offense off of you. Glory to God. And we bless the Lord tonight. He is so worthy to be praised, y'all. I'm telling you, God is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I just bless him. I bless him because he's doing great things. I'm looking at God doing things in the lives of his people. I'm looking at him change sinner man to now they are God's man. I'm looking at him change women to now they're God's women. They are women of God. I'm telling you, I'm watching God change people who he already knew would be saved. God said he knows those that are his. Glory to God. And I know some of you saying, you know, we make every excuse in the world why we haven't come to God. You know, well, I'm gonna get right. As soon as I, when I get right, then I'm gonna come to the house of God. Well, baby, you might not. You, I don't think you're gonna ever come to the house of God because you ain't never good enough to come to the house of God. You'll never be right. Those just excuses. God knew who you are. He knows who you are. He knows you by your name. He know your address. He know your social security number. He know everything that is to know about you. Glory to God. But the thing about it is this: stop making excuses. What you can do today, do it. Stop putting out tomorrow for what you can do today. You need to finish today out. You need to complete this day that the Lord has given you. Don't worry about tomorrow. The Bible tells us that tomorrow will take care of itself. It's got its own issues. 
Glory to God. So you finish today. Stop looking at tomorrow and saying, well, I, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, if you can do it today, go ahead and do it. Whatever he graced you to do, whatever he has given you to do, that he has graced you to do it, do it to the best of your ability. Amen. Don't let it be, don't get caught with your work undone, people of God. It ain't, it ain't worth you dying and going to hell. And everybody be saying, see, I told you she wasn't saved for real. See that? Mm-hmm. I told y'all. Yeah, you see, she got caught on her deathbed doing something she had no business doing. I told y'all. That's how people are. They ain't going to, they listen, they cursing you while you're alive, and they'll curse you when you're dead. Come on, somebody. Glory to God tonight. And we just thank God for all that he's doing, amen, in the lives of his people. I'm thanking God for turnaround tonight. I feel a change. I feel a breakthrough coming. Hallelujah. I feel breakthrough and change coming. Ah, glory to God. I feel a fresh wind tonight. I'm telling y'all, hallelujah, things are changing. Don't try to, listen, you that are spiritual, stop trying to uh, uh, get these carnal-minded people to see and hear and believe what you believe. Carnality can never understand the things of the spirit. So you're wasting your time trying to get them to say, when you're telling them what the Lord is saying, and they're they're carnal-minded, they're not going to understand it. It'll go over their head or they'll look at you like you're crazy. Listen. Stop! Don't you don't have to argue with nobody when it comes to the word of the Lord. Do what God told you to do. Glory to God. Do what He says. Do. Hallelujah. Glory to God tonight. Lord, we bless you. You are high and lifted up, and we thank you tonight, God. And I want y'all to know this. Stop making excuses because God's grace is sufficient for us tonight. And he, listen, where you're weak at, that's why He's made strong. If you give it to God, let Him work it out. Stop putting your hands in it. Stop trying to run something that you can't run. God ain't told you. Who told you that you had to do that? Who told you that the road would be easy? Nobody told you that. But we do know that God said in his word that he'll never what? Leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. And so you walk around here trying to be superwoman and superman. Walk heavily. Walk worthy of the call that that God has given you. Don't you try to wear nobody else's shoes. Their feet may be too big or their feet may be too small. So you walk in your shoes. Do what God has told you to do. Mind your own business. Take care of your own business. Hallelujah. And stay out of other folks' business. If you can't help them, don't hurt them. We got too much going on in the body of Christ. This world is in a pickle. This world is, I, I'm telling you, our country is just as worse as Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's why you're seeing so many things happening. Not just because of that, but because of the rebellion of the people. And the Bible says, declares that rebellion is just like witchcraft. It's as witchcraft. And the people are rebelling yet again against God. But those that are standing up, you need to stand up and be counted for. Open up your mouth and and declare who you are. Don't be afraid to say that you are, that God is your father. Don't you be afraid. Come on here. Because the day is coming and it's real soon that you're going to have to answer that. Who who you serve? And they're going to ask you questions. And you can't be afraid to say, listen, just say, if you're going to kill me, go ahead and kill me because for God I live and for God I die. The Bible just talks about being a martyr. If you're a martyr, you, you automatically go to heaven. You, be, you know what I'm saying? So listen, people, God is on his way back, and we better get our houses in order. He's allowing us time to get our houses in order. Get things in order so that when he calls your name, you'll be ready to go meet him. I'm telling you, a lot of people can't stand. They won't be able to make it in these end times. So a lot of people are asking God, just take me on home, Lord. Take me on home, saved. And Lord, because you you bless me to live a fruitful life. Just take me on home. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not ready to die. I, I got plenty more work, to, much work to do. I'm not ready to go nowhere. I want to see what the end is going to be. All this, listen, all this that I've grown up in, you know, church, church, church. I want to see more things come to fruition. I know who God is. I don't doubt that, none of that. But I want to see some things. I'm telling y'all, y'all keep watching and keep listening. You ain't got to live like the world. We live, we are under a different system. We are governed by a different system. We have to abide by the laws of the land now. Amen. Because Jesus did that when he was on the earth. He abided by the laws of the man. You got to pay Caesar what's due Caesar. 
Come on now. So don't get this because we kingdom that we don't pay taxes. Oh, yes, you have to pay taxes. And if you get licensing, you're going to have to pay for it. Amen. And if the cops tell you don't uh, do not do certain things, you got to obey the law of the land. Amen. And even in some time of you obeying the law, certain things still happen. But guess what? God is not asleep. Okay? He don't never sleep. He don't never sleep. And so, therefore, he's paying attention to everything that's going on. And because he has our back and because he's for us, we're going to be all right. Can y'all say that tonight? Say, we're going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. Amen. Because I know who holds tomorrow. I know who holds my future. Amen. I know there's things about tomorrow. I may not understand everything. Hallelujah. But I, one thing I know. That my life is in God's hand, and the devil in hell can't plug me out of it. I'm trying to tell you something. You got to know that you know for sure. Oh, without a shadow of doubt, that God, hallelujah, is your God, and that, that you are in his hands. Hallelujah, you got to put yourself in the master's hand, because he has the master plan tonight. And we just bless him for all that he's doing. God, I thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your people. Businesses are springing forth everywhere, all around. Father, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah, that people are becoming entrepreneurs. God wants us to be entrepreneurs. He never tell you you had to work for somebody all your life. Come on, somebody. He want, you work for yourself. That's why he's equipped it up. We have the ability to have so much in us. We don't always have to go to college to have our own business. You don't have to go to college to get your own business. I have put, we listen. I've got a godfather. He was only he only had a third degree, third grade education, honey, and is and is a millionaire. Died a millionaire. So I'm just trying to say, you, it doesn't matter about it. Education is good in its rightful place. Don't get me wrong, but don't make your children feel bad if they don't want to go to college. If they got the high school diploma, you tell you give them an ultimatum. Say, well, you're gonna have to own, open up your own business, or you need a trade or something. You gotta have something under your belt. But, you know, they're already, our children are more wise. The Bible says each generation is wiser. I mean, wick, no more, they're wiser and wickeder. That's what the, I've never seen that in the Bible. I've never seen that word that I saw it in the Bible, wickeder. So they're more wiser and they're more wickeder. So they can do anything. They're geniuses, really. Uh, amen. But sometimes we have to pull it out of them because a lot of times if, if they are the smartest in their class, and they're not being challenged. They'll slow down just so that they can, you know, be with the other kids. You have to watch that as well. But we just bless the Lord tonight. We honor him. No, y'all, hey, listen, your mind got to be made up tonight. No turning back. You got to be happy now because you're on the right track. Don't you look back. Keep looking forward. Don't you look to the side. Keep looking forward. Keep your eyes fixated on God. Don't you get distracted. Yeah, I'm telling you, don't allow distraction to come your way because I told you earlier in this, right before the year came in, that God says we're going to do ministry for ease. Things are going to become easy for us. It should not be a burden. And if you're being burdened to do what God has called you to do, it's because either you're trying to do it all by yourself, not using wisdom. Because wisdom would have it that you delegate authority. Come on, somebody. You got to delegate authority. Get somebody else to help assist you. You ain't listen. Who, Lord, have mercy. We it, it takes a lot of it takes more than one person to, uh, to get a ministry to flow. You need help. You can't do it by yourself. God sent them out two by two. So if He sends them out two by two, that means at least we need that. Let us know we need help. Amen. Glory to God. And we just thank God for this timing tonight. We thank God for Dr. Kimmy Kim, you know, giving me an opportunity, amen, to just speak into the lives of God's people. Again, I, I truly honor the Lord. I honor the Lord and the woman of God as well. Amen. And I just bless the Lord for her. So uh, at this time, we're going to go ahead and um, open up our phone lines. Listen, people of God, we want you to come on. Amen. And if, uh, you know, let's be courteous so that we can hear everybody that wants to um you know, have something that they want to say. So we thank the Lord tonight for everybody. We're glad that you came on tonight. Hallelujah. So at this time, we're opening up the phone lines if anybody's desiring prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We bless the Lord tonight. Remember, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should have to repent. If God said it, he's going to make good on it. If he said it, he shall surely bring it to pass. Remember, 
that we are standing on the promises of Jesus for his promises are yea and amen. God can't lie, y'all. He can't lie. Whatever he promised you, if you can remember it, it's going to happen. It's still going to happen. It might not happen when you thought it was, but it's still going to happen. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So are there any callers on tonight? Glory to God. Good evening, God bless you. Um, I have enjoyed uh, the message on tonight. Uh, my name is Minister Raw, and I have enjoyed the message on tonight. I will carry it for the rest of my life to forget about the past and press towards the mark of high calling. And I thank God for you and uh, continue. Doing the will of God, and I pray that God bless you even the more in your doings. Amen. God bless you, woman of God. Listen, um, um, just know that God knows the plans that He has for you, and again, your mandate is shifting. Uh, I know you're gonna say, "I'm gonna tell you something that that's gonna take place." I'm gonna tell you. I'll text you. I know you're going to say, oh, Lord, no, no, but just know that God has you on his mind. God is elevating you in the in, in the spirit, uh, woman of God, and um, he's going to put you where by all your enemies going to be right there to see. They're going to see what God is doing in your life. Some of them will come back and apologize. Some of them won't, but that's okay. Don't you come down. You keep moving forward. Um, God is getting ready to settle some things in your spirit. Amen. There's some uncertainty. Some things, you know, you may not have talked, you know, you know how you people have their unspoken prayer requests. I feel an uncertainty, but the Lord told me to let you know tonight that all is well. I am on this pianda. He says, all is well. Glory to God. Mm. Father, we thank you tonight for the woman of God. Father, I thank you for using her, oh God, as your prophet, oh God, in the earth. Father God, I thank you for doors opening for her, oh God. Hallelujah. As you will continue to let her dream dreams prophetically, oh God. And and, and your dreams are getting ready to intensify. And God is going to allow you to dream about people and what you dream is just what it is. And God's going to let you go to there with warnings. He's getting ready to warn you in your dreams for the people. And you may not have never seen these individuals, but when you Walk upon them, your mouth going to go open and you're going to begin to say, excuse me, can I speak to you for a minute? And you're going to say, you know, I just saw you in a vision. I saw you in a dream. And this is what the Lord showed me. And you, they're going to let you know that it was God because they, they're going to say, nobody know that but God. And so God is going to show you just who you are in the earth where there are people that will try to challenge your authority, try to challenge uh, who God says you are. But God said, you know. That I've called you. Hallelujah. And I brought you out. God knows. And there are some that know who you are. But they rather not allow it to be said that, you know, she's a, she's a mighty woman of God. She's a powerful woman of God because of the fear of them, of you superseding them. And it shouldn't be no competition. Where there's no competition with you, they're trying to compete with you. And so what they would do is try to put a muzzle on you to shut you up. But the Father says your mouth cannot be closed never again. You will not keep silent in the church. God says what I tell you to speak, you're going to speak it. Oh, I the most, Deanda. He said even if I have to press your buttons to make you get up, you're going to get up. God said there's some things. Oh, I the most, Deanda. God said yes, you uh, said, oh, well, Lord, I don't want to do that. God said get out of there. Jesus. Because that's not a me. I'm not giving you a spirit of fear. I'm not giving you shyness. Shyness is of the devil. You are my ambassador. You got to speak what I say, speak in the earth. And God said there are going to be people calling on you. You're going to begin to get here. A lot of people saying, we want you to come. We want you to come. We want you to come. And because of what's been happening to you in these last, since the summer to this, to now, you're, you're going to be reluctant. But then God says, I will give you the stamp of approval. You'll know that when God says he, he releases you. And because, you know, you're saying, well, Lord, I don't want to be going. I don't want to be bothered with going to people's houses and they doing me like this. You know, because some people do that to, to make you, to shut you down. 
for real, for real, just to shut you down. But God is, mm, you, uh, God says, I'm connecting you with the right power sources, the right power teams. They're going to be teams of people that would work with ministry together. That's going to do the doggone thing. And they ain't going to let the devil stop them at no, no, no point. They're going to do what God has called them to do. Just know that you've been chosen, woman of God. You're not the call, but you are the chosen. Know that God has chosen you. To, he has chosen you tonight. Hallelujah. And not only does he call you his daughter of Zion, but he calls you friend. That is wow. the word of the Lord for you. That is the word of the Lord for you tonight. And that's why, you get, that's why they bother you. That's why they pick on you because of your relationship. A lot of people can't get into that place with God. A lot of people don't want to submit. You have submitted yourself to the mighty hand of God. You have committed yourself to the work of God. You committed to the work. You have submitted to him. And a lot of people can't deal with that because they feel like, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, why God talked to her? You know, why God, why everybody want to use you? You know, why people want you to, why people don't mind using you because they know you ain't coming with no junk. You're going to come with the truth. And you're not coming to try to or hurt nobody, but you will tell them what God, what God says when you're up. And, you know, even if it hurt them, you know, if he releases you to say it, you, you know, you have to do it. But you'll be crying telling them, but you'll still, you know, you'll obey God. And so we thank God tonight for your obedience to him. I'm telling you, there are big things that are, are, are in store for you. Big things. Not that you care about all of that, but there are some things that God says he's going to do it for you just because he loves you. And um, just because it's gonna be a just because blessing. Go ahead, woman of God. Oh, uh, can I say? Can you say this on the line? I need a word. Say what, ma'am? Um, uh, you helped me with some thing. You helped me with some paperwork concerning my land, and I got my land. I got my land. Uh, deed. I just want to say. I want to thank. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I don't want. I don't know if it's the right time, but I just thank God for it's your the help. Hate. Praise God the Lord. Help. And that's why I just thank God for what he's doing. You know, it's been uh, many years. It's been years I've been trying to get this stuff done. But I thank God for your help. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. I love to see people walk in victory. But that but um thank but God. um yes, Lord, I bless the Lord for that. I'm so happy for you. Thank that it, that ain't yeah, nothing, no, girl. Just wait. God, I'm telling you, God finna blow your mind, and you're gonna be like, Lord, oh, I didn't know, you. Lord, I didn't know you felt like this about me. I know you love me, but Lord, He just <laughs> finna shower you. This is your seed. This is your year of being showered with love from God and His people. There's some people that He's gonna let show you real love. You know what I mean? And will not try to Thank dog you out with your gifts and anointing. They ain't going to try to walk on you. They ain't going to try to dog you. They're going to show you love. Like what you, you know, like what people want. You know, everybody want to be loved. You know what I mean? And felt appreciated. And that's what God is going to do for you. Glory to God. I'm so excited for you. I thank God for you. And if I didn't speak, I don't know if I spoke. Good evening. I think I did, but I'm not sure. Sometimes I'll be uh, and and forget because the word was real good. I thank God for the say that even the more because I need to know. You know, we don't post let the sun go down on our route. However, I want to know what avenue to take. Oh, I hope I ain't taking up too much time. But I talk to you. You good? Yeah. You good? But um, I'm We can't reminisce over the past, and I don't want to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. But I bless them. Yeah, before. gotta let it go. Because, listen here, we can't, you know, and it's just, just for anybody, they be holding on to that that man and in their mind. Because, you know, even with the incubus and the suck of a spirit, when people have, there are some people who really marry those spirits. They, in their minds, you know, they marry them, and there's a bond. There's a soul tie. So they're, and they they holding up their, their husband for coming because they'll tell you now I'm married. And, and they we waiting. They can't wait to get home, to get in bed, to, to, to lay with those spirits, you know what I mean? And I mean, like real relationships, that's crazy. But when we hold on to the past, past our exes and, and stuff, uh, you know, we, we're, we're not allowing God the room to, to present us to our husband. Amen. You know, Amen. because, you know, because we hold on to somebody else that maybe somebody else's man now or whatever. We still holding on to the, the uh, what used to be and what used to be can't be no more. <laughs> Hallelujah, because we're not the same. We're not the same. Amen, amen. And so, you know, they, it's just, it's just, 
Amen. But God is good. I thank you for coming Amen. on tonight. God bless your bones. Hallelujah. Amen. Strength. I speak strength now to your body, to your mind, and to your soul. I, I'm just seeing you now just laughing, being overjoyed. I'm telling you, God is getting ready to shower you with so much love and compassion through his people. It's going to overtake you. So just get ready for it. It's going to overtake you. You're going to be like, Lord. And you're nothing but a cry, baby. You ain't going to be doing nothing but crying and snotting and crying and snotting. Lord, I just didn't know. Lord, I just didn't know. I, I know you love me, God, but I, I just... It's just been a long time, God, since somebody just just nice to be nice and just you know what I mean. It's getting ready to happen for you, woman of God. Glory to God. Thank you for coming on with me tonight. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you too. All right, love you. Bye bye. Hallelujah. Thank God. Glory to God tonight. Hallelujah. Call you on the air. Hello. God bless you. Hello. Hi, Hello, I can hear you. Hey, hey Ronnie. Hey, I hey. just wanted to say that I enjoyed it tonight. Um, that was speaking into me, you know, about the past, about leaving the past in the past. So I'm just asking God to help me do that, um, to not be left on what happened in the past. So I just That's thank right. you for allowing us to hear that on tonight because so there's some people out here that really need to hear that. Um, so let in order to move on to your future, you have to let go of your past. Got to do it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And see, with uh, things that you've experienced already in your life, if you if you keep holding on to, well, they didn't do this, and they didn't treat me like this, and they didn't do that, and they left me here, and they hurt me here. If you keep doing that, you're not gonna allow the you're not gonna allow God to come in and and, and bring uh uh uh, uh the um uh, and restore the family. You know what I mean? Because you keep holding on mm-hmm. to what they did, and we got to let that go. When they did it, they did it. They apologized, so let it be. Now we got to move to the future because guess what? You older now. They're older, and time is not waiting on anybody. And if you're waiting on them to do, you know, a lot of things that they may not have, that they may not have or knew, the, they didn't have the know it all. And sometimes that's a reason why people don't be up to par with a lot of things. But God is still blessing you. You have both of them now. You know what I mean? And so we thank God, uh, you know, for all the hurt that you had to endure. But guess what? You are, it made you a better woman. You are a better woman today yes, than you were back then. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you are in a better place with God. And I thank God for watching you blossom. Amen. Don't you stop. I enjoy listening to you this morning. Uh, how God is, how you allow, God, God is using you to convey the message. And it was so, in, so much intensity. I love it now when I hear you. I mean, it's like you've been doing this thing forever and a day. You know what I mean? It's just been, uh, I guess we've been together. Uh, we've been together a year now. And so I just bless God for what the transformation that I've seen God do in your life. I thank him for that. And I want you to keep growing. Don't stop growing, okay? Keep evolving into the woman of God that God has called you to be. Amen. Amen. Kiss my baby for me. God bless you. Thank you for coming on tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are there any more callers that want to come on tonight? Uh, this is, hey, uh, Pastor Hannah, how you doing? This is Minister Emma from Brookhaven, Mississippi. And Hi. I really, God enjoy- bless you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I really enjoy this message tonight because um, I'm not trying to look back in my past. I'm not trying to be like a lot wise. Look back because there's nothing in my past that want to make me look back. I'm looking forward to my future, what the Lord has for me in my future, because you have so many people that the Lord be done closed the door, but they still got their foot in that door trying to keep that door open, and the Lord can't mm-hmm. allow any good things to come in their life because they want to hold on to their past. But um, yes. I, I, I want to go on to the future. I'm just, you know, very excited what the Lord's going to do for me and my future. I want to continue to grow, you know, and just continue to move, you know, because I know the Lord has something good for me in my future. That's why I call my future in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Well, woman of God, you just keep on keeping on. 
Hallelujah, because God is doing great things in your life. You know, now you are seeing the manifestation of God move for you like you have never seen before. And so I'm grateful for that. And you know what it does, though? When you get on the right track, when you get aligned with the Father, uh, you yeah. can't help but that things can't help but to move for you because you listen. Amen. That's your daddy. You listen, things go when Amen. you are lined up. Everything else will line up in your life. Glory to yes. God. And I just see God. He's just been blessing you. I'm telling you, I'm so excited yes. for you. Yes, yes. I'm Hallelujah. real excited. To yes. God be the glory yes. for the things Hallelujah. that He's doing in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. You keep on praising. Amen. You keep on thanking Amen. Him. Hallelujah. If don't nobody else want to praise God, you praise him, honey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. (laughs) Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I thank God for you, woman of God. I thank Thank God for you and your family. We are lifting you guys up in prayer, okay? Amen. Amen. God bless you tonight. Love you. Thank you for love you. Love you more. Thank you for joining. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord tonight. Amen. Hallelujah for every one of y'all that did come on. Amen. But listen, you guys, I bless the Lord for this opportunity. But listen, next time, we're going to meet next Tuesday night, the same bad time, same bad station. We thank the Lord again for Dr. Kimmy Kim and the nation's family. Glory to God. And we just bless God for all that she's doing in the earth. Hallelujah. God is making her name great. Come on, somebody. It's a difference when you try to make your own name great and when God makes it great. Because see, when God makes your name great, can't nobody take you off your post but God. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord tonight. So until next week, y'all, it's been real. I'm signing off. Shalom. Shalom.